Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Loki Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICC Mathematics Class 8, Chapter 20, Construction of Quadrilaterals, Exercise 20A, Question Number 1. Right. So this is construction of quadrilaterals. We are going to be constructing your uh, quadrilaterals in this exercise. As we all know, in a quadrilateral, how many things are there? We have studied that a quadrilateral it's going to have four sides, right? Four sides. What else will this uh, will, it, will it have? It will have four sides. It will have four angles also, right? If four sides are there and two diagonals, right? So in total, you can see there are ten elements in your quadrilaterals. Now, out of these ten, we need only five. Okay, only five. Any five can be given to us. Out of these total 10 things, we need only 5 things to draw a quadrilateral. Okay, let's read the first question and I'll show you how. It is construct a quadrilateral ABCD in which AB equals to 4 centimeters, BC that is your another side is equal to 6 centimeters, CD once more, one more side 5.5 centimeters, AD equals to 5 centimeters that is also a side and AC is equal to 8 centimeters. Your AC is a diagonal. You can see I have written this is a question of four sides and one diagonal, right? Four sides and total of one diagonal. So in total, how many elements? Five. So you can see I have made a rough figure on the side where basically after drawing the rough sketch or rough figure, it is in a, you know, it's bec it becomes very easy to draw the figure. We know which step we have to do first and what we have to do after that. So it is advisable to draw the rough figure. Now let's move on to do making the fair one now. So how will we make the fair one? You can see first of all, we will begin by drawing AB. Okay, you can see the red pointer, it's at AB. This is four centimeter. We'll draw this line first like that using your ruler you'll keep the ruler at zero okay and we'll begin and bring it till four like that okay now once we have done that what you're want going you're going to do now see so this is done a b four centimeters now you can remove the ruler here i'll mark it as my a and b right this is of 4 centimeters okay this you can do that later on now next step is keep your compass at point a you can begin with any point but we'll begin with point a only now c after i have kept my compass at point a you can see we will draw diagonal ac you can see the diagonal ac over here right ac that's of 8 centimeters so we will we'll be drawing ac of 8 centimeters using your compass how first of all you're going to open your compass to 8 centimeters you can see on my compass it's coming 5.7 5.9 6.1 so we'll take this up to 8 like that and what i'll do i will cut an arc here right let's make a little bit more over here that should be fine let's uh, now one arc also i will cut at point this one 5 cm for D. You can see the red cursor. First arc we have made at your AC. Okay, see, this is A and this is C. I've made my first arc here at point C. Second arc I will make at point D so that I can mark AD. So you can see length of AD that is given is 5 cm. So whatever length is given of the side or the diagonal, that much you will open the compass, right? So I'm going to open my compass to 5 centimeters like that okay 5 now again I will cut an arc here okay just like that we've cut the arc let's put the compass now at point B so you can see I'm going to put the needle of the compass on point B just like that right um, that's it now from point B, how much will I extend? First of all, I will draw BC. In you can you can in the rough figure you can see BC is of six centimeters. So you will open the compass up to the length of six centimeters like that. I've opened it. And next step will be to cut an arc. 
first cut this arc that you have drawn with point A for AC. We will cut this arc with 6 centimeters like that. You can see. Now you can see your uh, this. We will join this thing, right? So I will join it also just to make it easy. First, you will join your point A, right? That you have with the intersection here. You can use this uh, ruler or maybe I should also use one that should be better. Something like that. Or oh, let's just use the ruler itself. So, see, this is your ruler keeping the ruler at your point A now. We'll rotate this thing like that. And you can see the point is there. We'll join these two points, right? Like that. Or oh, maybe I should just pull this thing a little back, right? see like that and over here also little bit like that so let's join this thing right it might not come here very accurately but on the pen and pencil it should be accurate we've joined this and the point that you are joining it a at this your point it's called is going to be named as point C now we will join B and C also to produce BC so keep this thing at again your point B okay point B and now join this thing with the help of your ruler like that let's let me join this one again so we've got here B and C that will be like that right so this thing is joined now you can see over here that I have joined it next step is to cut a final arc at point C to make point D C over here we, where the red cursor is going you can see we have your CD this is 5.5 centimeters so first of all what you want to do is we don't know where point D is lying because over here you can see on my plane we don't know where point D is but we know that this is point C so keep your compass at point C right let me do that thing here okay after that open the compass to a length of 5.5 because the length of the side is also 5.5 it's coming 6 3 5 good let's cut an arc over here also and your work is done with the compass let's bring the ruler let's join point this point you can call this as your point D okay this is your point D uh, like that let's join it with the help of our ruler so first of all we'll keep this thing at my point a and again put this at point d right like that let me make the ruler a little short that should be better let's bring this one up mm. right let's join these two points let's see if i can get an accurate line segment or not right that's done let's join d and let's join c also so keeping this at point d right i'll keep my compass here at uh, I, i'll keep my ruler here at point d and again join these arcs over here like this right oh sorry this has gone away but you should do this one with the help of the ruler right so what we'll get here actually so this will become d and c this is joined now after this also you want to label all of these right really quickly i'll do that right so your bc is of six centimeters your ac is of eight centimeters and your dc is of 5.5 centimeters and AD is of 5 centimeters. Okay, that's it. Your figure is made. And friends, this is all for today. If you are new to my YouTube channel, do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one. Till then, take good care of yourselves and bye bye.